everybody. Um, I am home. Today is the 13th. It's the day after Easter. And um, we had a good Easter. We actually flew in from Mexico the night before Easter. Our plane landed at about, it was about 11 o'clock. Um, my sister and my mom picked us up at the airport and we went ahead and stayed at her house. We spent the night there. She lives only like 10 minutes from the airport, so it was a lot quicker and easier, and we were just exhausted. Um, my dad and I were still on Mexico time, so technically it was like one o'clock in the morning, and we were just really tired. I can't sleep on planes. Um, you all know my anxiety with planes. I told you that before we left. So I was kind of on edge the whole time. I was so glad once we touched down and I felt the ground beneath my feet and I wasn't up in the air anymore. Um, a sense of relief just totally washed over me. The surgery was over, everything was over, and I made it home. So I felt so good. Um, so we went to my sister's house and spent the night. My son was there. Um, he was waiting. <laughs> He wasn't supposed to be awake, but as soon as we walked in the door, he came running down the stairs and gave me a big hug. Um, it was so good to see him. I missed him more than I thought I would. I sort of thought it was going to be a little vacation and it would be nice to not have to worry about, you know, what he was doing and everything every day, but I missed him. Um, so it was really good to see him and he kept me up half the night chattering away <laughs> um, about all the things that happened while I was gone. So it was nice. Um, Easter morning, we woke up. And I have three nephews and my son and they, um, the grandparents had prepared a great Easter morning for them, all kinds of food. Um, the Easter bunny, of course, brought baskets and hid eggs. And so they searched for the eggs for a while and I was feeling pretty good. I didn't have a lot of pain. Um, I'm off all my pain medicine at this point. I think I still have a few pills left, but I don't really need them. So I'm not taking them. Um, I just sort of sat and watched and enjoyed their fun and, um, it's interesting though because I hear a lot of people talking about how they don't want food and chocolate and candy and that kind of stuff. They just don't want it at all. Um, I can look at it and it looks kind of good. Like, I feel like I could eat it. I know I'm not supposed to, so I won't. Um, I'm definitely afraid of harming myself or my pouch or... Um, that kind of thing. So I would never ever do it, but there were like sticky buns and cinnamon rolls and um, like egg casserole and lots of chocolate and um, they had like those Whopper Easter eggs. I really like Whoppers. Yeah, jelly beans. And it all looked really yummy. Um, so it was kind of hard to like watch everybody eat it. But um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm a little like worried about that because I don't feel like I'm turned off from those kind of things. I don't know if I'm supposed to be right now or what. Um, I wouldn't need it, so don't worry. I don't need to be lectured about it, but it just, it's kind of weird that I still like am wanting the food. Maybe that'll turn off later. I guess maybe my head hasn't quite caught up yet. I don't know. Um, so I had some watered down juice. <laughs> I'm still on... The liquid, the uh, clear liquid portion of my diet until Tuesday. So tomorrow I can start having full liquids again so I can go back to my protein shakes and that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, although I'm doing okay on the clear liquids, I'm not hungry. I don't, I don't feel any hunger, so that helps. I'm not like lightheaded. Um, I feel like my energy's kind of picked back up a little bit for now, which is good. Um, so for the numbers, I can give you the numbers now finally. I got on my WeFit this morning um, for the first time since the day before I left for Mexico, which was um, the 10th is the last time I stepped on. Um, no, no, never mind. It wasn't the 10th. It was the 2nd. 2nd? Yeah. The 2nd of April was the last time I stepped on the WeFit. And since the 2nd of April, today's the 13th. I had lost 18 and a half pounds. There you go. Um, that's a big number. I wasn't quite expecting that much. Um, yeah, that was kind of a shocker this morning when I got on the scale. It's been so long since I've seen the scale go down that to see it going down 
in such huge amount was just like, I wasn't expecting it. So anyway, that's awesome. I'm excited. It's the first of many pounds to come. And total so far, since my pre-op, since my high weight right before um, my surgery seminar in February was when I started um, losing f for my surgery, I have lost a total of 32 pounds. So that is more weight than I, I think that's about as much weight as I've ever been able to lose on my own um, doing diets and whatnot. I lost about that much one time I did Herbal Life, a bunch of supplements and stuff, and that was back in, gosh, probably 2000, something like that. Um, I lost about 30 pounds on Herbal Life, and then it, of course it came back on once I stopped, so um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated. Seeing that number this morning really helped. And today I'm just concentrating on trying to drink my water. Um, I'm having issues with my tap water here, like it doesn't settle well in my stomach. And I've heard other people talk about how plain water doesn't work well in their in their pouches, um, so they have to put crystal light or something in it. I might try that, but for now I'm drinking, I've got a couple bottled waters left, so I'm drinking that for today. And I'm drinking um, some IsoPure, um, the clear like Gatorade looking drink kind of stuff. So I'm drinking that and my tongue is red from all the isopure and the sugar-free popsicles. Um, and I'm probably gonna have some beef broth soon. I'm really enjoying the broth because I get tired of the sweet juice kind of stuff. Um, the broth tastes good. So I usually do that like for lunch and for dinner. And I think, I can't remember if there's anything else I wanted to say. Um, oh! I need some advice. Um, I think I told you guys before, my parents um, paid for my surgery for me. And kind of towards the end of my trip, like I was sort of feeling like I needed to do something. Um, I know I thanked my dad for coming with me. Um, and I gave him a hug. But I need to do something for them. like. It's such a big gift they gave me, and I don't know how to thank them for it. Sorry, I'm getting emotional about it. Every time I think about it, I just don't know um, what I can do to say thank you. How do you thank someone for giving you something like this? So I need help coming up with something to do for them. I don't know if I should buy them a gift or if sending a card would be good enough. Um, there's just nothing that I can think of that's good enough to say thank you for this. It's such a big thing. I don't know that I ever would have been able to afford it if I had to pay for it myself. So to be given this opportunity is just like more than I could have ever asked for. Um, I didn't ask for it. They offered. So, sorry. I don't know why I do this every time. Um, if any of you can come up with something that I could do for them, or what to say, or I'm really bad with this kind of thing. I'm bad with like accepting gifts. <laughs> um, yeah, please like send me a message or a comment below. Like, how do you thank someone for giving you back your life? Um, I guess I'll leave you with that, and I will um, talk to you all soon. Bye.